Hello everybody, welcome to Mike's Mike. My name is Mike. Before we get started, I just wanted to apologize in advance. Nobody wins in this video. However you are now, you'll not be the same after this video. So I'm just putting this out there. I'm sorry. I've been doing a lot of thinking and that's because I have a lot of time to think because I haven't spoken to another human being in 36 hours. I'm basically a monk on the weekends. Monk's Mike. Anyway, I can't stop thinking about the movie Universe of Cars. I just have so many questions, but like I, I didn't do any research and now I'm presenting the problems to you all so you can also have the problems that I'm having. Sharing is caring. ka -chow. like literally ka -chow. Ka Riddle me this, why do the cars have doors? So are the doors like the hands? Because the eyes are on the windscreen, which means behind the eyes you have the brain. So the inside of the car is the brain. So why do they have doors? Like is the entire inside of the car the brain? Because obviously they have brains because they can think and they can speak. Don't even get me started on how they can speak. But anyway, why do they have doors? Like they can't even open them so they don't have hands. But like, what's the purpose of having a door? Doors implies that the doors would be opened. Because that's what a door is, right? You have a door to open a door. Otherwise it'd just be a wall. The movie planes as well. So does that mean anything that has a motor is sentient? Why are the tractors treated like animals? Tractor rights. Who built the cars to start with? Where did the baby cars come from? Do baby cars grow into big cars? How do they grow? What do they eat? So they consume petrol or gasoline for my American viewers. Where does the gasoline come from? Hang on, we need to go back to the doors. Doors implies that the doors can open. So at some stage, the doors were opening, which means the cars didn't have brains because you can't open it and the brains fall out. So to start with, the cars had no brains. So then why would they have doors in the first place? And how did they become sentient? Were the doors for humans? Like would humans get in the car? Where are the humans now? Did the humans turn into the cars? Did the cars kill all the humans? What's the timeline? How is their history here? Why is there a Pope car? Like I know the Pope has the Pope mobile, but is that car the Pope mobile or is that car the car Pope? Because car Pope implies that there's car Jesus. Now what type of car would car Jesus be? Because these cars are representative of the era of the actual historical event because we have the Sarge car who fought in World War II or something. And he's like a World War II era car. So does that mean Jesus car is like a stone? This goes way deeper than I thought. I'm honestly vibrating because I had a coffee and this is just like, Accelerated the process so much. Is Jesus' car like a horse and a cart? But there are no horses, or were there horses? Much to think about. Why is no one talking about this? It shocks me. It's horrific that nobody's discussing this because it's so important. So Sarge car was a World War II era car, which implies that World War II happened in the car's universe. Was the bomb sentient, the atomic bomb? Where do the buildings come from? Why are there even buildings? Why are there buildings? Why are there footpaths? So was there like a car's takeover? Man, that shit is dark. Where's Elon Musk? I'm willing to accept that the cars were once human. Let's just go with that. But what kind of humans became the planes? Are the boats sentient? I can't remember. Are there jet skis? Where are the jet skis eyes? Why do they have eyelids? What is the purpose? Why would a car need eyelids? That's just stupid. That doesn't make any sense. I'm so confused about the car's law. Not the law, the law. <laughs> law, 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 law. Are there drug addicts in the car's universe? Like, are there crackheads? Like, what's like car crack? Is that like Valvoline? Do they have jobs to afford the petrol? Like, do they have desk jobs? Are they car desk jobs? How does a car sit at a desk? What are the car jobs? I mean, we know that there are car jobs because there are reporters for the races and then we have the races themselves. Does that mean that there are car software developers? Like a version of me, that's a car. If there are interviewers, that implies that there are interviews, which implies that there are TVs. Who built the TVs? How do they get that fine little circuitry? It doesn't make sense. It just doesn't make sense. They have no arms. How can they do circuitry? <laughs> Are there other planets? Are the spaceships sentient? Like, if a car got in a spaceship, 
could they go to Mars? I'm not over the car religion thing. But then I was thinking, cars are kind of like modern day horses. Like let's just ignore the fact that there are modern day horses that are actually horses, let's ignore them. Sorry to those horses. Sorry to this man. Let's assume that the cars are what horses were, but now they're like intelligent. That kind of makes sense. But how did the horses turn into the cars? I don't know. Why are there planes? First of all, why does the planes movie exist? That shouldn't have never happened. Do boats have like a different personality? Like, are there things in the ocean? Like, are there animals? Are there other, bleh, bleh, bleh. Did every living thing become a car? Where do all the dead cars go? Where does all this material come from? Like, that's a lot of steel. That's a lot of metal. That's a lot of rubber. Do they have really bad pollution? Why are there skyscrapers? Was there a car's Dunkirk? Did they storm the beach? How did they get to the beach? On a boat? Who built the boat? If I was a car, what type of car would I be? Now that's a question that I can't wait to hear the answers for. Back to the space thing. The movies imply that there are gravity because the cars are driving on the ground and you have like all the laws associated with that which implies that normal rules of physics apply. Do cars going to space have like helmets, like astronaut helmets? because they can't survive the atmosphere, because they breathe for some reason on the earth. So if they're in space and they have helmets because they can't breathe the air because there, are, there is no oxygen, would the spaceship also need a helmet? But like you need oxygen for a combustion engine. So if they're in space with no oxygen, but helmets on, how are they operating? How are they running? What the hell is this? But like, what about I just got a text from the FBI. They said to stop asking questions. So I'm gonna stop the video now. To reiterate, I'm sorry about this. I know a lot of these questions could be answered by me actually doing some research, but no. Let me know in the comments what type of car I would be. Give me five, it's a vibe in the hood like drive by. If for some unknown reason you enjoyed this video, feel free to leave a like. If you got something to say, leave a comment. Um, if you're not subscribed already, hit that subscribe button. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll talk to you all soon. A peace out. Welcome to the end screen. Here you will find another video for you to watch and a link to easily subscribe to my channel. So make sure you subscribe to my channel.